Today, I am gonna to reveal to you the number one way that you can remove background noise from your self-taped auditions, and I'm gonna walk you through the process step-by-step. Step. Ah, let's get it! What's up, everybody? Wendy Davis here, founder of Acting Pros, helping you book more jobs by sharing audition secrets, hacks, and pro tips. Now, if that's something that you're interested in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell, and you'll be notified every time I upload a video. All right, let's jump right into it. Okay, so the number one way to remove background noise from your self-taped auditions is an incredible free program called Audacity. It's an open source program and you can use it for both Windows and Mac. Let me show you. Okay, so before we actually go to Audacity, let's talk a little bit about background noise. So when you are shooting your auditions, it's really important to make sure that you are in a quiet location and that there isn't a lot going on in terms of screaming children or uh, barking dogs or lots of noise going on outside. My first recommendation would be to manage your sound as best as you can while you're shooting your audition. But if you can't and you need some additional help, this is gonna help you. So this is a young actress that I've had the pleasure of working with, Kelly. She was in one of my recent online classes and I told her I was gonna make this video for her. So here it is, Kelly. <laughs> and thank you so much for letting me use this short clip to show everyone how to remove background noise. All right, so let's take a look, listen to this clip and we'll discuss after. Rough day, Doc? Some days are harder than others. I don't know how you do it. Let me know if you need anything. Okay, great. So we can hear there's a, there's a consistent hissing noise in the background. The good news is that her actual voice is pretty clear and sharp. Well, let's jump over to Audacity right now. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to make a audio file. There we go. Let's pull up the Audacity app, or shall I say program. We're gonna drag in our mp3. The first thing that we have to do is we have to tell Audacity what noise we want removed from this audio clip. Now these large sections here, this is the dialogue. And so we want to find a section that isolates the background noise and that's these sections here. So here's a nice big section of just background noise. So we're going to select this we're gonna go into effect, we're gonna to go to noise reduction, and we're gonna get noise profile. All right, so we did that. The next thing we wanna do is we want to then select the entire clip, go back into effect, noise reduction. This time we're gonna hit okay. Now these are the default settings, and I always like to start with the default settings just to see the effect that I get from that, and then I adjust from there. So let's take a listen to see what we've got. Rough day, Doc? Some days are harder than others. I don't know how you do it. Let me know if you need anything. Okay, not bad. That's a huge improvement from the original clip, but let's play a little bit with the settings. So we go into edit, undo noise reduction. We're gonna select our section here, go into effect, noise reduction. Oh, let's see, what if we did like 17 here? Hmm? Maybe 18? Let's try 18. Let's see what happens. Okay, we'll leave these two the same. Get noise profile, then we select all and go back into effects and noise reduction, okay, and okay. Let's see. Rough day, Doc? 
Some days are harder than others. I don't know how you do it. Let me know if you need anything. Okay, that is my favorite thus far. I felt like the the dialogue was, was still crisp and the background noise was almost completely removed. We are going to save it. You go into File, hit Export. I always export as a WAV file. So we're going to hit that, My Movie. Great. We're going to go back to iMovie and we are going to drag that file back into our little holding area here. You always want to correct or you want to uh, clean your background noise before you start to edit. And the reason for this is because right now this clip is a standard size. So it's very easy for me to just to take this audio and just add it. And it's very, very easy to line up. We've got our sound in. What we need to do to this original sound is we need to remove it or take it down to zero. I always take it down to zero. Okay. Let's take a listen to what we've got. Rough day, Doc? Some days are harder than others. <laughs> I don't know how you do it. Let me know if you need anything. Awesome. I like that so much. That, my friends, is the best way to get rid of the background noise in your self-taped auditions. And what I love about it is it's a free program. Go download it today. You'll be super happy that you did. Also, I have created a self-tape starter kit. It's called How to Self-Tape Like a Series Regular. And you can find that at www.howtoselftape.com. Until next time, see you soon.